Go away, I'll fucking stab you. Dude, you know you're supposed to be out of the driveway by eight. Mom's just pissed. Your mom's always pissed. Come on, man, you're blocking her car. Seriously? This is bullshit. I am in the mood for this nonsense. I'd tell her to eat shit and die, but then I'd feel sorry for the turd. Speaking of turds, you look like deep fried, stir fried, day old takeout shit. So? What's your point exactly? Well, more so than normal even. What's going on? I don't want to talk about it. A life coach keeps his own counsel. Let's grab a beer. It's eight in the morning, Doyle. I don't drink before 10. I'm buying. Let's go. Wait, I gotta go put on some pants. It's fucking Seattle, man. Half the fucking retarded hipsters out there, no one's gonna notice a goddamn difference anyways. Gotta be hypnosis. I just don't get it, Doyle. Why on earth would Sandra be dating that weird little goober? Prolonged intercourse? What the fuck? Come on, man. We both know you're not a marathon runner. You're great out of the gate, but not much for stamina. Sam Elliott, Roadhouse, Wade Garrett. Christ. You know, if a broad can't get her lady bits to squeal town in five minutes, it's time for her to seek a different mode of transportation if you catch my drift. Isn't that what I said? I catch your drift, cowboy. Thank you, my lady. I can get there in three. Let me know if you want to go for a ride. <laughs> that fetish is going to take a few more of these, Mildred. Hey, my name ain't Mildred, asshole. Might as well be. Come on, man. You're doing great. You got a handful of clients. You can afford food and beer. Pretty soon you'll have enough money for your own place. You'll be swimming in the gash by then. You're right, man. But her and Lance together, that's like gonorrhea of the brain. You need to move on, man. You don't want to wait for the restraining order like me. I have moved on, damn it. There's just something not right about that weasel I just can't put my finger on. It. Maybe it's the fact that he's laying pipe in your old house. That's probably it. No! I don't know. Maybe. Why don't you talk to her? I've tried that. She doesn't want to talk to me. Do something nice. A peace offering. An erotic cake, maybe. Chicks love those cock cakes. That's like a double-edged sword of sweetness right there. You know, you might be onto something, Doyle. Hey, Mildred, can we get the tab over here? You got this one, right? Fuck. You son of a bitch. <clears throat> you must want to get cut, don't you, bitch? Excuse me? What the hell are you doing? I brought a peace offering. Uh, what makes you think that I would... You know, it's like a metaphor for our relationship. Fuck this cake, then. Hey! Fuck off! Sandy, we need to talk. About what? That Weasley douche that made his way into our bed. You can do better than that, Sandy. Compared to the last Weasley douche who was in my bed. What the fuck? You're sleeping with two douchebags now? I don't have time for this. I'm late for work. Why him? Just tell me why. You at least tell me that. Oh, you. Let's see. 
You leech off me for over a year while I work my ass off to pay for a lifestyle which apparently included you sleeping with my friend, giving me an STD, and leaving the goddamn toilet seat up. I owe you nothing. Your friend who? Carla? You don't even like her. Uh, fuck off. Sandy, wait. Please. Ow! Oh, God! I'm sorry I shouldn't have done that. Why Lance? Why? Be solid. That's all there is to it. There's no big mystery here, Frank. I drop turds more solid than that Gilmer all the time. I don't see you sleeping with those. Gross. I'm done sleeping with pieces of shit, Frank. Bad, huh? Unprotected sex with a South African prostitute, bad. You disgust me. Really? All the shit that comes out of my mouth, that disgust. This shit's gotta stop. Never seen you like this before. This ends now. Doyle, I appreciate Shut the fuck up! You're Frank Harden. Not only are you a radical life coach, but you're also the most virile coxman I've ever known. You taught me that masturbation thing with the pinky and the forefinger? I've never splooged like that in my life. You're my hero. Looked up to you. That is not the man I see before me today. Well, I don't know. The Frank Harden I know gets what he wants, when he wants, how he wants it, by any means necessary. He doesn't cry into his beer like a little sissy pants. Not exactly. I'm not finished! Now, if you need to bury this Lance motherfucker, then you bury that cock turd motherfucker. Bury him. Fucking right. I'm gonna put that weird little fucker in his place. Let him know whose sandbox he's crapping in. Let's get you something a little bit stronger. Mildred. Oh Johnny Walker from a man here. This one's on me. Pay the woman, Doyle. What the fuck? Listen, Mildred. I'm a little short. Can I pay you next time? We're not running a charity here. I've got nothing right now. I'm busted. Oh. What am I supposed to do? I think it's time you took a lady to squeal down, Hank. Uh. The name is... Fuck it. Fine. <laughs> Just... Can I at least get a few more jumps? Hey, Dildo. Frank, how nice to see you. Don't bet on it. I'm here to make a withdrawal from your ass bank, bitch. Frank, you seem to be suffering from a spinal degenerative disorder that's clearly affecting your brain. I think you Beat should- Beat the ever-loved shit out of you. Frank, if this is about Sandy. You do well to forget about Sandy. I'm here to make sure you don't forget that. Frank, I think we should go to my office. 
and talk. I don't want to talk. It hasn't been a good day for me, and it's only going to get worse for you. I'm shit faced, broke, and I just had to bang a woman way older than me. You're going to feel my pain, motherfucker. Woo. Looks like someone put his big boy pants on. Yeah. Okay, fucko. I'm done taking it easy on you. What am I doing? Bleeding. What possessed me to think I could possibly solve anybody's problems? Radical life coach. What a crock of shit. I couldn't even kick the ass of a weird little hobbit. Well, you were drunk, Frank. I'm sure you weren't at your best. Are you kidding me? That is the only time I'm at my best. I'm like the Hulk when I'm blitzed. I don't know what happened. It's just a bit of bad luck, Frankie. Bad luck? Yeah. When it happens more than once, it's karma, sweetheart. I can't whip Frodo. I can't hold a real job. I can't keep a girlfriend. Christ, I don't even have a place to live. You can stay here. I've got room. You just... No freebies, okay? Not even handies. Stay here. Yeah. And then what? You'll end up hating me just like Sandy. <sighs> the ladies can't keep up with my radical nature. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it, Frank. Just, you can stay here till you're back on your feet and then you can work from here. <sighs> That's sweet. Bubble cheeks, it really is, but I don't think I'm cut out for this life coach thing. Good God, I just don't want to go back to the phone sex work. And you won't have to. What the fuck? How do you keep doing that? I need a life coach. A radical life coach. I need you, Frank Harden. Let's straighten your shit out.